So today we are going to learn a new topic. So previously, okay, we've been learning life cycles, okay, life cycle of plants, life cycle of animals. Then we need to be able to compare the characteristics okay, between different life cycles. And today, okay, we are going to learn meta. So any one of you okay, are learning meta in school right now. So anyone learning meta in school right now? So, and of course, okay, so let us see what we are going to learn today. So like I mentioned before, okay, we are going to learn meta. So I want you to understand okay, that okay, meta okay, is anything as mass and occupied space. Then yeah, okay, everything that you see, everything that you use, okay, even your body is all made of matter. Well, please remember that not everything is matter. So later we need to be able to distinguish between matter and non-matter. So after that, okay, I want you to understand the definition of mass and volume, okay, how they are different, then how to understand them. And the last one okay, is the three states of matter. So matter has three different states. Okay, it's gas, so okay, liquid, and solid. Okay, so I want you to understand. Okay, so this is our goal today. So in our lesson. So let's go through one by one. So before we go into the lesson itself, so I want you to understand okay, the learning objective for this topic. So what you are trying to understand today. Yeah, so you can see this is the learning objective in the syllabus. Yeah, so I want you to take a look for a while and then okay, let's go into okay, the understanding of meta. Now, Chuck, what is meta? So basically meta is anything that has mass, Anything that has mass and occupies space. Yeah, so anything that has mass and anything that occupies space. So if you are given a question to distinguish which one is matter, which one is not matter, I want you to always ask two questions. First, is this thing having mass? If the answer is yes, then you move on to the second question. Is this thing having or occupying space? So if the answer for both questions is yes, then you can be sure that this thing that you're observing is matter. Then how about your body? Is your body matter? The answer for both questions is yes, right? So it means that our body is matter. Then how about handphone? Okay, so how about handphone that I'm holding right now? So what do you think about the handphone that I'm holding? That okay, is my handphone matter? How do you know? How do you know that this phone that I'm holding is matter? How do you know? It has mass and it occupies space. So whenever you are being asked whether something is matter or not, and your answer is yes, then you have to explain this way. Because it has mass and it occupies space. Yeah, so that is the okay, the, the short and the Okay, the short and the correct answer for that kind of explanation. Okay, so any question about matter? Any question about matter? Then, of course, you know, like I mentioned before, not everything around you is matter. There are some things which are not matter. For example, the shadow. Okay, I believe that you have seen shadow before, right? Especially when you are under the sun, then you, you see your own shadow behind. All right. So is shadow matter? No. Why? Why is shadow not matter? So what do you think? How to explain this? 
Why is shadow not matter? What is a good explanation for this? Anyone? So that's how you explain why shadow is not matter. Same thing for heat. Heat is not matter. Why? Because heat doesn't have mass and doesn't occupy space. Then your own reflection on the mirror. Okay, when you see your own reflection on the mirror, is your own reflection a matter? Okay, no. Why? Because my reflection doesn't have mass and doesn't occupy space. And so that's how it explained. So the first bubble question after Chinese New Year. Okay, I will start right now. Now, let us see one by one. It's no matter. It's no matter. What do you, what do you think? Yes, why? Because snow has matter and snow occupy space. Okay, so snow is matter. Then how about smoke? Is smoke matter? Yes. It has mass and it occupies space. How about oxygen? Oxygen is the gas that we need. Gas. Is gas matter? Yes. Gas is matter. Why? Because it has mass and it occupies space. Okay, so oxygen is also matter. How about sunlight? No. Sunlight, shadow, light, okay, then heat, what else? Sound, okay, they are all non matter. So sunlight is not, so that's why the answer is number three. Yeah, music, music is the sound. Yeah, so that's why it is a sound, it's also non matter. Okay, so any question for bubble question one? No, I guess. Moving on to the second one. Which of the following can be classified as a non matter? Light does not occupy space, and light doesn't have mass either. So that's why the answer is number two. So number three, which one of the following pairs of items best represents X and Y, okay, respectively? This one is 10 bubble. I want you to try your best. Be careful. Okay, consider your answer. Do not rush. Okay, I will start right now. You are given one minute. Now, according to your syllabus, according to your syllabus, fire is not matter. How about wine? Wine. Okay, should wine be why? No, right. Wine is matter, then it should not be placed under Y. So that's Y. First option out. Second option, water and sand. Both of them are matter, correct? So, cannot be. Then, three, wind. Is wind matter? Is wind matter? Yes. What, well, sure, but wind? I thought wind is not matter. No, wind is matter. Why? Because wind is actually moving air. And air is matter. That's why wind is considered as matter as well. Because air has mass and air occupies space. Then shadow. Just now, we already learned that shadow is non matter. Why? Because it doesn't have mass and it doesn't occupy space as well. Okay, so that's why the answer is number three. Okay, very good. Okay, so anyone got all the three bubble questions correct? Okay, moving on to try it yourself. Now, I want you to try, okay, try this question, try answering this question. If most of you answer this question correctly, then I will reward you all with the bubble. Yeah, so like every try yourself questions, okay, everyone is rewarded with the bubble. 
if everyone tries their best. Mm -hmm. So meta is anything that has what? Okay, so if you okay, so if my answer it has mass and it has volume, is is it accepted? The first part, yes. Okay, it has mass, it is accepted. But if you mention it has volume, then it is not proper actually. So the proper way to put the second one is is that it has or it occupies space okay so it's not about the volume but it is about occupying space yeah and please remember this phrase mass is everything that is mass i say metal is everything that has mass and occupies space yeah occupy space and has mass Okay, that is always the explanation for every method. And all objects have what? Have mass, right? Yeah. So all objects have mass. How about us? Do we have mass? Of course, we are method. So we do have mass. Yeah. So, and a balance can be used to compare the masses of two objects. Object with the heavier mass will rotate the lever downwards. Okay, so let's see the video here. So, which one is heavier? Which one has more mass? So, first, okay, it's a plastic box and then a concrete. So, you can see that, okay, so since the, the, the lever tilt, okay, towards the concrete, you can say that concrete has more mass than plastic. Okay, then some, some of you mentioned, sure, concrete has more weight than metal. I'm oh, sorry, concrete has more weight than plastic. Is that explanation correct? What do you mean? Uh, okay, so what do you think? So it is proper, okay. Okay, so which one is more proper in science? What is your weight? Or what is your mass? Now, if it is just a daily life thing, it is okay if you, okay, if you ask, or what is your weight? Okay, even though you should not ask a person weight, I get the right weight. Okay, that is quite rude. Then in science, that is actually not proper. Why? Because mass is totally different from weight. So I want you, starting right now, especially in science, make a distinction between mass weight because these two mass and weight are totally different okay so please bear this in mind it's very important especially when you go to p6 because you are going to learn what weight is in detail mm -hmm. what is distinction it is to distinguish it is to be able to okay to Okay, to set them apart. Okay, so you know the differences between these two. Talking about mass itself, remember it is not weight, huh? So mass and weight in size different. So what is mass actually? So mass is the measure of okay, it's a measure of the amount of matter in a substance or an object. Okay, so my mass is let's say. 70 kilogram and your mass is 40 or 35 kilogram. Which one has more mass? Me or you? My, my, my mass is 80 kilogram and your mass is 35 kilogram. So which one has more mass? Me or you? <laughs> okay, of course. Okay, I have more mass. Why? Because my mass is greater than your mass. 
premises in the kilogram while yours is 35 kilogram. Then how you know, okay, so what is the unit of mass? So you learn this in P3. So anyone still remember what is the unit of mass that you learn in P3? Kg. Kg stands for what? Kilogram. And G. And G stands for gram. Again, you will need a balance, like electronic balance, to measure mass. Okay. So any question regarding mass? Yeah, so these two slides are all about matter, okay, are all about mass. So mass is commonly confused with weight, like I mentioned, okay, in daily life, people use weight instead of mass. Okay, what is your weight? Have you heard people asking, what is your mass? It's very rare, right? Most people ask, what is your weight? What is your weight? So, what is your mass? Right. So, they are closely related, but they measure different things. So, by definition, mass, like what we understood before, is the amount of matter. It is a measure of amount of matter in a substance. But then, how about weight? What is the definition of weight? So, weight actually measures the force of gravity, gravity. So it's anything related to gravity, yeah? Anything on an object, yeah? So it is totally different things. So that's why okay, I want you to bear this in mind. Mass is not the same as weight. Okay? Then what is, okay, what are the instrument used to measure these two? For mass, you use electronic balance or you use beam balance. And for weight, what do you use? You use spring balance or you use weighing scale. Yeah. So these are the two differences between mass and weight. Just restart it. Okay, I think it's lagging. Okay, so are you guys ready? I hope that now it can. Anyone wants to announce now? Anyone wants to be hmm. what? He wants to be Okay, so that is the end of the video. Okay, so let us recap. Okay, the video okay, with these questions. Okay, is it true that the boy instantly become lighter when he went to the moon? Just now you see the scale. You see the scale. No. Huh? But just now, okay, the scale is totally different. Okay, on Earth, okay, it was like 50 kg. But then, okay, on the moon, okay, it's only 10 kg. 
much. Okay, what's wrong with this? <laughs> I thought that he, he became lighter suddenly. No, the answer is no. Now, what is the explanation? Why is the weighing scale that he used on the moon show like a smaller value? The boys mass or weight? Okay, the boy's mass actually remains the same. So if I go to the moon, let's say, okay, by magic, okay, I go to the moon, my mass is 80 kilograms. Will my mass stay the same when I go to the moon? Again, remember that mass is the amount of matter. Does my amount of matter change when I go to the moon? I, nothing changes on my body. I, I just change the location. My mesh remains the same. My mesh remains a particular length. Then what changes? What changes actually is my weight. Why? Because the force of gravity on the moon is only one sixth of the earth gravity. So that's why I feel lighter when I go to the moon, but it doesn't mean that my mass changes. No, my mass always remains the same. What actually changes is my weight because the weight is always influenced by gravity. Yeah, so if the amount, if the force of great gravity changes, then my, my weight is also changes. How about space? When I go to the space, when there is no gravity, do I still have mass? When I go to the space, where there is no gravity, Okay, is my mass still 80 kilogram? Yes. Nothing changes to my amount of matter. How am I weight? If there is no gravity, do I have weight? No. If there is no gravity, you are weightless. The weight is zero. That's why I hear you're floating. Have you seen that? Like the people in you know in space, they are floating, right? All the objects, everything, they are floating. Why? They are weightless. No weight at all. Okay, so that is an explanation behind mass and weight. So please remember this. Why? Because you will need this in P6. Okay, so you will need this. Okay, but for now, you just need to understand the mass is not the same as the weight. Hmm. Okay, so the next one is taking up space. So just now, okay, some of you, Cha, what does it mean by occupying space? Occupying space means it's taking up space. When you go to MRP, okay, so you see the empty okay empty space on the chair okay on the chair okay so can you just sit anyhow if there is no space like if all the people use the space okay on you know the bench can you just sit when there is no space and all right why because they all occupying space on that bench it's not bench, but it's not chair either. Okay, so you know what? I'm, okay, the seat. Okay, so the seat. And so if they all occupy all the seat, can you just sit on the seat without disturbing them? No. Okay, so that's what it means by occupying space. Yeah, so the space is taken, the space is occupied. So all matter occupies space. Okay, if I put the remote, okay, oh wait, uh, give me one, 
And so if I put the handphone in my wallet, will it fit? No, why? My wallet does not have enough space. My handphone occupies a certain amount of space. That's why it is impossible for me to fit the handphone in my wallet. Yeah, so that's what it means by taking up space. So the amount of space taken up by an object is called its volume. So that's why when you are to explain okay, matter having mass and occupy space, please don't mention volume. Because volume is okay, is slight, okay, is not right okay, to be put in the explanation. Volume is the amount of space taken up by matter. So that's why whenever you are to explain something, whether it is matter or not, then occupy space and has mass. Okay. So the units of volume. So what would you learn in P3? Anyone still remember? Okay, Thales mentioned that it is liter and milliliter. Later in math, you're going to learn two new units of volume. Okay, so that will be cubic meter and cubic centimeter. Okay, so the last thing would be what instrument can we use to measure volume? Okay. So the first one is measuring container, measuring cup, and graduated cylinder. Okay, so this is all about space. Yeah. So what we are trying to learn today is to understand that all matter is mass and all matter occupies space. Then you understand what mass is, how mass is different from weight, and then you understand okay, occupying space. Okay. So why is graduated cylinder? Okay, you can just search. Okay, so it's just a cylinder with some measurement on it. Okay. So you see diagram A shows a boy and diagram B shows his shadow. Diagram C shows a girl and that diagram D shows a reflection in the mirror. So based on what you have learned earlier, which of the following statements are true about the four diagrams. Okay, so are you ready for this? Okay, wow, a lot of you answered this correctly. So yes, both in A and C are matter. How about shadow and a reflection? Are they all matter as well? No, okay, this one non matter. And the reflection also non matter. So why, why is the reflection non matter? How to explain why well, I keep asking the same question. Sure, why do you keep asking the same question? So that you remember how to explain this properly. So why is the reflection non matter? How to explain this? Anyone? No one answered. Come on, okay. Okay, so it has no mass and it does not. It has no mass and it does not occupy space. Okay, so thank you very much for your answers. Okay, I, I saw that quite a number of questions. Okay, quite a number of answers as well, but. Yeah, so for a number of these, I couldn't see one by one. Okay, so good job. Next question. Ooh, okay, so we see a cat. We see, okay, we see the shadow. And we see the bottle of water. So based on what you have learned earlier, which of the following statements are true? How about the pictures? Okay, so you guys ready? Okay, so B, C, and I think have mass. Does shadow have mass? No, right. So this one is out. B does not have mass, but A and C have mass. Is this statement correct? Yes. Does B occupy space? 
be zero. Zero is an, a non-meta, and non-meta does not occupy space. Out. A does not occupy space. Cat does occupy space. Okay, have you seen cat going into box? Well, I've seen a lot of video okay, where the cats, right, love going into a box, even though the box is smaller than him or smaller than her. Wow. I don't understand why cats always love boxes. Okay, so that's why the answer is number two. <laughs> Okay, moving on to the next one. Question seven. Which of the following statements is or are false? All matter has mass, all matter occupies space, all matter is non living, all matter can be seen and felt. This one is slightly harder, but please, I did take note. Okay, be careful. You have one minute. I roll it out. Do your best. A, so C, A, all matter has mass. Is this statement correct? This one is correct. All matter occupies space. Correct. All matter is a non living thing. What do you think? Is statement C correct? Yeah, I know, I know. I know, false. Is statement C correct? No. Ooh. Okay, so this one is not. All matter can be seen and felt. No. Okay. This one, okay, so I need to ask Mr. Monkey for this. Why the answer is one? This one should be true, not false. Got number eight. Okay, so what property of matter can Mary observe from this experiment? So basically, so she fills up container A with marbles and container B with water as shown below. So what property of matter? So there are only two, pro pro two property of matter, right? Okay, so what is the answer? So the answer is number three, matter occupy space. Okay, number nine. Okay, so let me just chop chop this one, okay, because we are ending, okay, it's 7.28, okay, so about this. You have one minute and 30 seconds. Okay, so box C has more, okay, let's, so basically, for this one, the answer is number two. Okay, so A is correct and C is also correct. Okay, so remember that the size does not determine the uh, the mass. Okay, so question ten. So question ten. Okay, are you guys ready for this? <laughs> Okay, so this one, what is the answer? It's a very easy eraser F mass. 